Hello there. Oh, <coughs> hello there. Uh, welcome to another review. My name's Chris, and today we're going to be looking at the Speedlink Medusa NX 5.1 surround sound gaming headset. Um, as you can probably tell, I really like this headset, so let's get into seeing what the box says about it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have written on there. Chris really likes this, so I'm just going to tell you all the technical aspects of that as well. Um, so first of all, it is a 5.1 true sound headset. Um, it's got eight driver units, so you've got four in each here, giving you rear, centre, front, and then also the bass sound as well. So in each headset, there is four speakers, um, which is just fantastic. Um, now you may think that may make the headset quite heavy, but let me get to that a bit later on, okay? Um, it is USB powered as well because there is a lot going on there. It can't have just the standard 3.5 mil jack power kit powering the headset. So there is an extra USB power in there as well. It's got a 3.8 meter long cable. It is the longest cable I've ever seen any headset have, um, which is really, really handy because, you know, I like to kind of wrap it around myself a few times and have it so it's really quite sturdy on my head. Um, and also my PC is quite, like, the, the jack's coming a little bit far away from where I'm actually sitting. Um, so having a long cable is brilliant. Um, it's got soft ear pads, um, which are really comfy. Um, it's also got noise cancelling built into the microphone. So if you are sitting in a LAN hall and there's some CSS behind you, like CSS player behind you going, yeah, rah, then you're not really going to hear that when you're on TeamSpeak or MSN or whatever. CSS players, man, really. Uh, and then we've got our volume control built into the line. And also the headset is foldable as well. Um, so if you are taking it out and about, then you can fold it up so it keeps it nice and safe. Um, also, there's another little surprise which they include in here, um, but I'll get to that a bit later on. Um, so yeah, I think that's the, the majority of the box taken out. Um, on the back here, you can see there's a few little icons here saying Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows XP certified. It's Mac certified, Skype, ICQ, MSN and AIM certified. But the really cool thing is it's also TeamSpeak certified. So they've gone to the time and trouble of talking to teams so you can get them to, to really fall in love with this headset as well, which is fantastic because everyone loves TeamSpeak. I'm sure Ventrilo would be really happy if you used it on there as well, but we'll get to that a bit later on as well. So yeah, let's, um, let's whack it out of the box and, uh, and have a look at the goodies that lie for us inside. So here we are, our treats have been unraveled, and I've just also seen on the box here, we've got a few different gaming reviews here uh, from the Germans, and because the Germans really, really love it, you know, top product, even though they spelled product wrong with a K, um, and sehr gut! So as you can see, if the Germans like it, it's really, really good. Right, so you stay there while I look at your, your, your contents, really. Now, one of the cool things, as, and these things I always fall in love with, like with the, with the Ozone um, Spark headset, I really like this kind of thing. Um, it comes with a bag, not the Spark headset. The Radon 5K Gaming Mouse comes with a bag. Like, I think bags are brilliant when they, like for headsets and mice and things like that, just because if you are going to LAN, you don't have cables sticking around everywhere. They're not like flying out and, and things like that. And also, another really handy thing with this is if you are going to land, everyone knows that you're not allowed to take your own alcohol inside. These are brilliant to hide cans of beer in, okay? Just say it's a headset. Perfect. Right, so, let's have a little look at the headset here. Now, it does have a really, really long, really, really long, really, really long cable. Um, let's put that on the floor there as well. We've got... So it's 3.8 meters, which is just a shade of four meters for those that know your maths, um, which you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Now looking at the connection side of it, we've got our four three and a half mil jacks here. So blacks for your subwoofer, um, orange is for your rear, green is for your front and center, and then pink is your microphone. So all kind of standard connections. And then we've also got our USB power cable here. Because there is eight drivers in total in the headset, it does suck quite a bit of juice, so it does need that extra power here. And it is gold-plated as well, so you get a better conductivity. And also with the inline thingy here, that's pretty much creates a separate coil so you don't get interference with the headset. Um, so when you are on TS or playing the game, this stops any interference which you may receive from having this extra electricity running to the unit. So, on from there, if we follow along the cable, 
we then get to this little section bit here. This is the inline volume control. Now, you've got some cool little bits on here. Um, you've got the on-off switch, first of all. Um, when I first started using this headset, I thought it was broken because this was turned off. Um, I then realised I turned it on, a little red light comes up which is here, and then the headset works. Um, a really cool little aspect of this as well is you can control each um, section of the headset individually. So you've got your centre volume here, you've got your vibration volume here which is also goes into the bass, um, you've got your front volume and your rear volume. So if you're playing with a headset like on standard stereo, you have your central volume up, you can leave everything down, it doesn't really matter because you're not using it anyway. But then if you are playing in game, um, uh, when audio is a really big must have, like CSS and COD, to hear if people are sneaking up on you, you can turn your rear volume up a bit. So if there is someone there, you're going to hear them before they see you, and you'll be able to get the quick frag on them, which is always handy. Now going right to the end of the cable, we get to the headset here. Now, the big thing about this for me, is the weight of it. It's a very, very lightweight headset, especially for it being a full 5.1 surround sound bit of kit. Um, there's other 5.1 surround sound headsets out there, um, the Rockat K, for example, which has got quite big, like the housing for the, for the drivers are quite big drums on your head, like the cups are, are quite large. Um, and it makes the headset feel really heavy and really bulky, like if you swing your head around because you're angry that you've just lost a frag, the more than likely the headset's going to go flying off and hit one of your teammates, which is just going to get them all angry as well. But with this headset here, it's really lightweight. Again, like the, um, like the Spark headset, it's got a really, really tight elastic banding on there, so it really grips to the side of your head as opposed to just resting on the top. But then the top banding is really soft and comfortable there as well, so it's a headset which you can... It's, it feels more clamped to your head in a comfortable way, not like someone's just clamped your head, but it's, it's clamped to your head and rests on top quite nicely. So it's the most comfortable headset that I've, I've really used and I prefer to use this over um, other headsets just because it's, it's so lightweight and it's lovely. Um, one of the other cool factors is you've got, the, you've got the microphone on here as well, which is completely adjustable. So you can move it around wherever you like. So you could have it in your eye, in your nose, but generally we have it by our mouths, which is quite good. But it's just quite handy because if you are, if you are talking and if you have got like chubby cheeks, then you can move it out like there. And if you're quite thin, then you can put it a bit closer to your mouth. But either way, you can just kind of like move it out of the way if you're, you know, having time out, or you can just put it back up to the top of the headset if you want to as well. So the fact that the microphone is so movable and you can have fun with it, it just makes it really quite nice and neat, apart from when you are playing a game and someone just goes, uh, thank you friend. But anyway, but the microphone as well is very, very clear. Um, and again, with the TeamSpeak certification on there, it's it just sounds lovely. Like It, it is as if you're just talking to someone. If, you, if you're using the right codec on TeamSpeak, that is, it, the quality of it is just, mm, it's lovely. Um, so we've got the top banding there, which is really, really nice and smooth and soft and really, really lovely on your head. It is adjustable too, so if you have got a larger head or a smaller head, then you can make it clamp on there quite nicely. And uh, yeah, the, the 5.1 works really, really well with the headset and the fact that you can adjust each channel individually from the headset itself just makes it a lovely really headset to uh, to kind of use and definitely one of my well my favourite one at this point in time to use when I'm when I'm gaming. Um, so I think it's time to to move on over and uh, see what the uh, sofa summary says about it. So what to say in sofa summary? Well, like I said, I really love this headset. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's really light. Um, it's a true 5.1 surround sound headset. Um, it's got padded ear cups, not ear muffs, ear cups. Um, the band is really soft on there as well. It's got a 3.8 meter long cable, so it's just really, really long. Um, it's really loud. I don't think I said that in a review before, but it is really, really loud as well. So if you've got a really annoying player next to you, or I don't know, your mum's playing a song which you really don't like or singing, then you can really block it out with it. And also with the noise cancelling, both on the ear, the, the ear cups, and the microphone, it just brings it all together to be a fantastic headset. But the thing I really like and I can't stop talking about is is the weight of it. It is the reason why I choose to use this over other 5.1 headsets like the Rockat Cave is because it is a lot lighter than the Cave, and because of that, it allows me to play for longer in a more comfortable environment and makes me feel like I can play to a better level because I'm not constantly going. 
Oh, my head hurts because the headset's really heavy. It, 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 it makes me forget that I'm wearing a headset and just get completely immersed in there. So it's that's the reason why I love it. And, and that's why I'm going to sofa summer it and give it a 9 out of 10. Um, I'd love to give it a 10, but, you know, there's still other headsets out there to try. And, you know, maybe in the future it will earn that extra point. But for now, it's going to stick at a 9. Um, even though it does come with a bag, which I love to. I love bags that come with stuff. They're fantastic. Even though I always forget to take them with me to land. But they're wicked. Um, so, yeah, it's, it gets a 9 out of 10. Um, because I love it.